viewers and subscribers to another tutorial now for today's lesson we'll be looking at input devices now what is input input is any data or instructions entered into the computer in the form of signals now what is an input device now an input device is any electronic device that is used to enter data or instructions into your computer system all right so there are several commonly used input devices. These include your keyboard, mouse, joystick, light pen, and also digital scanners. Examine the keyboard. Now the keyboard is the most commonly used input device. And why is this? The keyboard is used to enter all your data and your instructions into your computer system. And a keyboard consists of digit keys, alphabetical characters and also special characters so as said it is used to feed instructions into your computer by pressing the related keys on the keyboard pointing device now a pointer represents a small symbol on your screen so the most common pointing device are your mouse joystick chop ball chop pod etc Alright, so the mouse is the most common pointing device. So it is used to input instruction with a pointer on the screen, which you would call your cursor. So there's two or there's three buttons. There's always on a mouse. You have the left click, the right click, and the button in the middle that you will use to scroll. And there are two types of mouse. So you have your mechanical mouse, and this type of mouse has a rubber ball underneath. So with this kind of rubber ball, it, it's kind of hard to move along surface, right? So if you're using it on a surface that is rough, it will cause some form of delay or the cursor, you won't see the cursor move on the screen effectively, right? You have to use this mouse on a flat surface. However, the optical mouse, which use LED, a light emitting di diode, or some people call it laser light is able to move on any surface so you can even put this on your hands your clothes any surface whether the surface is rough or smooth this is able to move your cursor nevertheless chalk ball now a chalk ball is also a pointing device as mentioned earlier so like the most but it's it is stationary this one doesn't move so it normally has a rubber a ball on the top then you have your touchpad now touchpad also known as trackpad is a small flat rectangular stationary pointing device so it's sensitive the surface is very sensitive to touch so it's mostly used in laptop computers joystick no, this is also a pointing device as mentioned before. So, joysticks are normally used when playing video games or you're using a software like a flight stimulation software and so forth. So, it is used to control the movement of the point on the screen. So, a button is pressed to activate certain events. Light pen. No, another input device. This is another input device. So, it's used to detect the presence of light. It says handheld pen shape like with a photo cell mounted on its front end. So it's basically used by engineers, graphic designers, etc. Then you have your electronic pen, also called stylus. And this you'll normally find with phones or um, handheld computer devices. Right? So it has a ball pint like pen. So it's used to write text and draw lines with the help of its pressure. So it's usually used in graphics application, really, or on your mobile phones or your handheld laptops or computer system. So microphone, very important. So input device used to enter the sound signal of a user into a computer. Now several devices have your microphone. Your, your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop computer has a microphone. Sometimes even your TV has a microphone. So it's used to record the voice of the user in the computer. 
So sound cards translate the sound signal into digital signal for the processing by the computer system. So when you talk into the mic, it's converted into a signal the system, understand and then transmit to you through the speaker so you can hear what you're saying, right? So also translate the sound the digital signal back into analog signal, so it's vice versa, basically. Optical reader. Now, this device uses light source to read characters. So it converts them into a digital form that can be stored and processed into the computer. Now there are two types of optical reader. You have your barcode reader and your optical recognition or your optical character recognition. Alright, so let's just look at barcode. So barcode reader is an optical scanner. And barcode readers are normally used at supermarkets or department stores and so forth to scan your items. So normally when you scan your item, it provides the price, the product name, product number and so forth. And it allows the person who owns the establishment to know how many items they have in stock after it is scanned. And you have purchased your item. Optical mark reader. So optical mark reader or optical mark recognition is a process of capturing human mark data from documents such as surveys and tests. Now this type of device is most time used by an examination body where you would answer multiple choice questions on a shaded paper and then submit it. So after submission, the examination body would use an OMR to scan your answers and then find how much you have got correct based on the way you have shared. So normally it comes in an option A, B, C, R, D and you normally share an area and then it will be scanned by the OMR. And in order for you to determine the solution or determine the answers to your So in order for you to determine how much you got correct, it will normally scan the information that you have shaded on the paper and there will be a computer system that has a software on it that stores the answers to the questions, right? Then after scanning, it will determine how many you got right and how many you got wrong. Then you have your magnetic in character reader, MICR. Now, MICR technology is most times used in banks. Right, and it is used to read the information from a check. So when your 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 manager or your, your boss write you a check or so forth, they normally bring it to the bank and then they use an MICR touch screen or touch screen devices. The touch screen are found in almost all devices. It's found on your smartphones, your laptops, your desktop computers, your tablets, your smartwatch, your your refrigerator, your stove, your microwaves and so forth. So touch screen is very sensitive, right? So you normally use the tip of your finger to click on different areas of the screen. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for other tutorials where we'll be looking at different topics.